Hello students, welcome to Saurabh Sir's classes. In this video, we are going to solve Amazon company's placement paper of aptitude test. So here what we are going to solve is the placement paper which Amazon companies give its candidates or uh, the job seekers to test their aptitude. So let us begin with the first question. So here you can see question number one says a student got twice as many wrong as he got right. Okay, so he is giving a test and he has gone, he has uh, given wrong answers to twice the number of questions he has given right answers. If he attempted 48 sums in all, how many did he solve? Okay, so he attempted total 48 questions in which he got few right and the rest that is the twice of the number of rights he got wrong. So let us assume the uh, questions he got wrong. Okay, not the wrong but the right questions he got right to be x. Therefore, wrong will be 2x because he has got twice as many sums wrong as he has got right. So here x is right and 2x is wrong and the total number of sums attempted is 48. So total will be x plus 2x which is 48. So this will be 3x which is equal to 48. Therefore x is equal to 16. So we have considered questions he got right to be x and which is 16 and this is what we needed that how many did he solve correctly. So right answers he gave to 16 questions. So you can see 16 in option number B. Hence option B is the correct answer. Now moving on to the next question which is question number 2. Question 2 says a man fixed an appointment to meet the manager. Manager asked him to come 2 days after the day before the day after tomorrow. Today is Friday. When will the manager expect him? Okay, so here we are talking about weekdays where a manager has asked, okay, a man fixed an appointment to meet the manager. Now, manager has asked him to meet two days after the day, before the day, after tomorrow and that day is Friday. So, when will the man come at the appointment for the manager? So, first of all, you can see over here we have been given after the day, okay, two days after the day, before the day, after tomorrow. So, as you can see here, two days after the day, before the day. So this two after the day and before the day will give us the same result even if we remove this. If we uh, let us assume if we are con uh, like if come two days okay so we are considering this to be Thursday so after the day will give us Friday and again before the day will give us again a Thursday. So basically this part after the day and before the day is of no use. So we will not consider this after the day and before the day part because this is simply of no use. So what we are left is come two days after tomorrow. So two days after tomorrow and today is Friday. So first of all write as Friday over here. Now he is saying two days after tomorrow. So first of all let us go to tomorrow which will be Saturday. And now this will be two days after tomorrow. So tomorrow is Saturday. Therefore two days after Saturday will be Sunday. And then it will be Monday. So first of all here we have two days after tomorrow. So tomorrow is Saturday and two days after tomorrow will be Monday. So our answer will be Monday. So let's check the options. Option number B says Monday. Hence B is the correct answer to this question. Now moving on to the next question which is question number 3. So question 3 says the smallest number which when diminished by 7 is divisible by 12, 16, 18, 21 and 28 is. So we need to find a number which is divisible by these all numbers if we diminish that number by 7. So what we need over here is we need the LCM of these numbers but the number should be diminished by 7. So first let us uh, consider the smallest number to be smallest number to be x. So in order to diminish that number what we can do over here is we can diminish it from here. So this will be smallest number. Okay so let us write over here not say minus 7 here but let us write required number will be x minus 7 but uh, the requirement of the question is x but here we need x minus 7 which will be divisible by all these numbers. So since the number is divisible by all these 12, 16, 18, 21 and 28 what we need to find is we need to find the LCM of these numbers. So we will use the old school method and find the LCM of these numbers. So we will write over here like this and we will exactly use the old school method of finding the LCM. 
so we are dividing by 2 and 6 8 9 this will remain 21 and this will become 40 now again we are dividing it by 2 so this will give us 3 this will give us 4 9 21 and 7 after this we will divide this by 3 and it will give us 1 4 3 7 and 7 again we will divide this by a 3 1 4 1 7 and 7 and further we are going to divide this by a 4 so this is 1 this is 1 this is 1 7 and 7 and lastly we will divide this by a 7 so here we will get all the remainders to be 1 so as you can check here the the required numbers will we will get by multiplying all these coefficients so here you can see we have LCM will be equal to 2 square into 3 square into 4 into 7 and multiplying these we will get 1008 so as you can see uh, the LCM will be the number which is divisible by all these numbers if we diminished 7 from the lowest number so basically this will be equal to x minus 7 is equal to 100 and 1008 so x will be 1008 plus 7 which is equal to 1015 so 1015 is the smallest number which when diminished by 7 will be divisible by all these five numbers so 1015 is the answer which is option number b so moving on to the next question which is question number 4 over here so question number 4 says 252 can be expressed as a product of the primes as so here you can see in every option we have five prime numbers and we need to find 252 is the product of which prime uh, which of these options so what you need to do is simply uh, the product of these five and the resultant should be 252 so what we need to do is multiply each one of them in all the options and check which option is giving 252 and in first option begin with, beginning with first option we have 2 into 2 which is 4 4 into 3 is 12 12 into 3 is 36 and 36 into 7 is giving us 252 so luckily option number a is giving 252 so option a is our correct answer but if option a is not 52 option a turns out to be not 52 we need to multiply option b c and d and so on and find which option will give us 252 but in our case option number a is giving 252 so option a is the correct answer now moving on to the next question which is question number 5 question 5 here is uh, the as you can see there is no question but you can see there is a series so basically what we need to do is we need to find the last element of this series from these four options so we need to observe what this series is following so as you can check every alternate number is a 21 as you can check every alternate number is a 21 and in between we have 9 11 13 and we need to find the fourth out of these so every 21 every uh, alternate is 21 so we will ignore that and what we are left with over here is 9 then we have a 11 then we have a 13 so what in this series you can see is addition of 2 so in every alternate we are adding 2 because 9 plus 2 is 11 11 plus 2 is 13 so again 13 plus 2 will give us a 15 so the next element next possible element will be 15 which is option number b so option b is the correct answer to this question which is 15 now moving on to the next question question number six so question six is two trains one from Havra to Patna and the other from Patna to Havra start simultaneously so we are talking about two trains one from Havra to Patna and the other from Patna to Havra and they start simultaneously that is they start together after they meet the trains reach their destinations after nine hours and 16 hours respectively okay so the train which is coming from Havra to Patna will reach in 9 hours and the uh, train coming from Patna to Havra will reach in 16 hours after they meet. So the ratio of their speeds is, so we need to find the ratio at which these two uh, trains are running. So what we can do is we can consider this train as to A and this train as B. That is the uh, train coming from Havra to Patna to be train A and train uh, going from Patna to Havra is train B. So we need to find the ratio of their speed. So what we need is A's speed, the train A's speed which to train B's speed. So this is the ratio we need. And in case of speed, as you can see, uh, the destinations are same. It is traveling from Havra to Patna and this is traveling from Patna to Havra. So the distance of both the trains are same. Distance of both the trains are same. So since the distance are same, their speed and the time will be 
inverse to each other that is since a speed is to b speed so what we can do is here we will write the uh, time taken by the b train and here we will write the time taken by a train because the distance are same so the speed and the time taken will be inverse of each other so a speed we will write here 16 that is the time taken by the train b and in place of b speed we will write the time taken by a so the ratio comes out to be 16 is to 9 so we can uh, take the square root and we will get over here is 4 is to 3 so our answer is 4 is to 3 in options you can see 4 is to 3 in option number b so option b is the correct answer to this question so i will like to end this video here you will find more such solutions on companies taking aptitude tests and other placement examinations in our further videos